Lakers are starting to win a bunch of games. They've won eight of their last 10, including Sunday when AD dropped double nickel in DC. <laughs> I mean, in his last nine games, Anthony Davis is averaging over 35 points and 15 boards and nearly three blocks. I'll say that again. 35, 15, and three. <laughs> you know what kind of numbers those are? Moses Malone numbers. Moses is the last player to do that in a nine-game span in 81-82. And, of course, he won MVP that season. Tim Legler here to talk hoops. Legs, what are the Lakers in the West if Anthony Davis continues to play like this? Well, listen, going into the season, and then certainly after I saw them at the start of the year, I said their absolute ceiling, even if those guys were healthy, was going to be a nine seed because I thought there were eight better teams in the West once they get their pieces back and once we get into a rhythm of the season, which is usually around midseason. Um, I look at him now and I say, okay, first of all, is this sustainable? He's obviously got the talent to have stretches like this, and he's doing it right now. They've made him the focal point of their offense. They've changed their identity a little bit. I think what it has done in helping them, Max, is now giving this team better looks at the three-point line. They were horrifically bad, like historically inept from the three-point line at the start of the year. During this winning streak, these eight wins, they're shooting 39% from the three, which is, would be second in the NBA behind the Boston Celtics. So something has turned around with their shooting, and I think it's related to AD and how much attention he's commanding right now. So the question is, can he sustain it? Are you going to bet on that? If he does, they're certainly better, I think, than a nine seed. But I don't still think I can see them coming out of the West, even if he plays like this all year and they stay healthy. I just think there are better teams that are deeper and are going to be much better defensively. But they obviously, they're, they're yeah. more serious threat if he's playing like this, clearly. Yeah. I mean, the guy's I, been absolutely out of his mind for a couple weeks. A top-heavy team like the Lakers, when you push all your resources into two players, and you're expecting them to be two top five players in the league, and then suddenly one of them's playing like maybe a top 20 player, you can't win if you don't have other stuff. When he starts playing like a top five player again, now all of a sudden the conversation changes. The Warriors' right. legs lose again last night. Steph was off making only three of 17 after hitting those five consecutive full court shots I don't care if it was a hoax I believe it was true I don't know if it was a hoax I think it was Steph it, it happened what's wrong with the defending champs right now legs oh my goodness well I think there's a there's a combination of things I think if I had to, to start with something I would say I don't think the regular season is as pressing to a group that's been to six finals in eight years. I just don't. So I don't think the sense of urgency is going to be there with them that it is with some other teams. So that, that's first, just the overall mentality. Secondly, they just have not been very good defensively. And they're not making up for it by being super explosive offensively. Part of that's Clay Thompson still trying to find consistency. I think he's had four games all season where he has shot over 50% from the field. So he is still finding himself. And then I think the final component, and I picked this team to repeat, in large part because I thought I was going to see big steps forward out of Kaminga and Wiseman and Moody. And I haven't seen that from any of those guys. Kaminga is finally in the rotation regularly, and he has little moments, but nothing like I thought he was going to be this year. Wiseman is in the G League, and Moses Moody sporadically even plays. So I think I was counting on those young legs to take more minutes and be more productive to save some of these vets for later in the year. That hasn't happened, and that is concerning to me if I'm a Warriors fan, but I'm not close to being ready to say that this team can't come out of the West yet. It's too early for that. They're going to be much better, I think, a month from now. And at some point, I do think Clay Thompson's going to get back to doing it you know, almost every night the way that he used to. Like the Packers, when you are relying on young guys to bridge the, the, the gap, right, and they're not quite ready yet. Christian Watson just started catching passes. Same thing with Wiseman in the G League. You're hoping that it can all line up and you can go for the future and also stay competitive. It's a tough balancing act. And then, of course, legs, Draymond Superman punch on Jordan Poole, right? Like, they seem to have pretty good chemistry last year when they won the freaking championship and suddenly completely different. You can't tell me that doesn't have something to do with it. Kawhi, by the way, returns and hits the game winner for the Clippers legs against the Hornets last night. What do you think about the Clippers' health and, and how optimistic are you about their chances in the West? 
Well, first of all, I just want to say, you know, I was watching that game live when that happened, and it's mind-blowing to think a guy could come back after that kind of layoff and hit, end up hitting a mid-range game winner, you know, to, to give the Clippers one. And, by the way, Paul George completely deferring to him in that moment when Paul George has been playing great and he's been out there. He waved it off and said, no, no, go to Kawhi over there in the short mid-range, and he knocks it down. Look, they're another team that we have not come close to seeing their best. And, and I would put Golden State in that category. I'd put Dallas. Dallas in that category. I don't think Denver has been their best yet because Jamal Murray hasn't gotten back to that level and Michael Porter Jr. is still in and out of the lineup. So I think there are four legit heavyweights in the West that we haven't seen their best basketball yet and that's why it's still so muddled for me for the Lakers. But the Clippers, clearly they're one of those teams that's going to be in the mix. That's why the Western Conference right now is so fascinating. The only team I think we know everything about is Phoenix. That is what they're going to be. Can these other teams you know, get better as the season goes and you're going to have a real slow Slugfest out there in the playoffs. Clippers got a great coach. They got some great stars. They got a great supporting cast. They have not had great health, right? Like, let them get healthy and stay that way. Let's see what happens. Wednesday, our NBA. Time to put five on it. My power rankings of the top five teams in football. Now, this is what they've done this season so far, but a heavy emphasis on what they've done recently. There's a heavy recency bias, okay? Doesn't mean that determines everything. It's just, you know, weighted that way. Here's last week. Chiefs, Eagles, Niners, Dolphins, Bengals. Perfect. Everyone agreed. Perfect. Maybe they didn't agree, but it's still, it was perfect last week. the way I remember it. But What's yeah. the perfect list this week? Well, Chiefs lost, so the Eagles are on top. Ooh, Bengals the beat Bengals. the Chiefs. Bengals are top five, and they just got a win Ooh. over my top team, so they're in second place. Then the Chiefs fall down one. The Cowboys, who people are overrating right now, but they are very good. Ferocious pass rush. And then the Bills. Bills get a good win. A, a dominant win against, you know, Belichick and the Patriots. So there is my list. Guys, have at it. Bills had a great Sunday without playing, right? Because they had yeah. won their game Thursday. The Bengals take out the Chiefs, right? The Niners take out the Dolphins. All of a sudden, right. Buffalo's in that top seed in the <laughs> AFC. They didn't even do anything. That's right. Right? So that was great. Man, man I've been at the Bengals' last two games. They got something going on. I mean, that that the confidence of that team is really, really impressive when you're around them right now. I I, I think they're gearing up for something special. Coach, what do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. I think they're, they're the ascending team. What's interesting for me, though, is what happened to the 49ers? Yep. Oh. They, 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 yep. I, had, I took they, into account Brock whoa. Purdy. Look, whoa, whoa, Coach. Whoa. Wait a minute. Is their defense still alive? It is. Mm -hmm. they, they still play defense, right? And Purdy looked pretty good. Purdy looked pretty good. You know good. what? This yeah. reminds me back in uh, 2000 when I was with the Bucks. Oh. Trent Dilfer goes down. <laughs> we had the Buccaneer team. We had we had to finish the season out. We bring in Sean King. Yep. And everybody said it's over. Yeah. We got to the championship game. I mean, we ended up losing to the Rams, but we got to the championship I, game because of that defense. And coach, I, I, and coach Purdy looked decent. But let me just say one thing. No matter who's been the backup for Garoppolo, right, including Trey Lance or whoever's played during Garoppolo's time in San Francisco, when he doesn't play, they, they have one of the worst records in football. And when he does play, they have one of the best records in football. So you may be right, and maybe I shouldn't have dropped him off, but I need to see it first. I need I, to see a non-Garoppolo quarterback with this team win a little bit first. We all did they have, for the did they have a defense like this? Oh, it's did true. They, and by the way, McCaffrey, too, makes a difference. Puts that off. Man. You may be right. I considered San Francisco. I can't put a backup that I don't know too much about you know, ahead of these teams. I don't feel any different about the 49ers than I did three days ago. Like, I thought they were a team built.